This 1917 multi-struck Lincoln Sand, rated in mid-state 65 brown by NGC. We see evidence of at least three different strikes for this coin, the planchet rotating or otherwise being offset between impressions. According to Stax Power, the dramatic nature of this error has resulted in duplication to many design elements, a feature that's most profound on the obverse where the portion of at least three different Lincoln portraits are discernible. A glossy textured copper brown gem with equally attractive powder blue undertones coming into you at more direct angles. It was sold for $891.25. Number 6 series 1967 Roosevelt time, triple struck, second and third strike, 80 to 85 percent of center, graded in mid state 64 by PCGS. One of the subsequent strikes is located at the top of the primary strike, where the second full date is evident on the obverse. The other is at the lower left and shows the top rear of Roosevelt's head. Also on the obverse of the primary strike, corresponding portions of the reverse design from the second and the third strike are evident on the reverse of the primary strike. Lustrous golden tinged surfaces make lovely impression on grades. It was sold for $1320. Number 5, this is 2000 Pisaka Javier dollar, multi-struck from an obverse split die, graded in mid state 66 by NGC. This piece was struck multiple times from a normal reverse die and obverse die with several sizable die cracks. During the multiple impressions, the planchet began to curl around the obverse die like a cap. A lovely piece with bright satiny brassy gold surfaces and it ended up selling for $3450. Number 4 here is undated Kennedy of dollar struck on a scent planchet rated in mid state 64 brown by NGC. The planchet was obviously too small to fill the entire space between the dies and all that was struck is the upper left of verse and lower left reverse of the Kennedy of dollar design. Originally and attractively toned in a blend of golden copper and reddish rose colors, it was sold for $2,185. Number 3, this is 1955 S. Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet, graded in mid state 62 by PCGS. Mottled golden toning engaged both sides of this lustrous and satin example. The strike is generally well centered on the planchet, isolated design elements soft, and desirable mint error involving the last of the San Francisco Lincoln sense of the wheat ears. Reverse design type. It was sold for $3,120. Number 2, here is 1943 P. Jefferson Nickel struck on a zinc coated steel planchet. Graded in mid state 62 by PCGS. Handsome pewter gray surfaces with all design elements fully defined, save for those along the left borders. The strike being flush to the right borders on the both sides. Uncommonly smooth in hand for a signed grade. A touch of microgranularity to the texture is noted for accuracy. This is an intriguing error struck during the exigences of wartime production at Philadelphia Mint. The brevity of the zinc coat is still sand, and wartime Jefferson Nickel underscores the rarity of an error involving both types. It was sold for $5,040. Number 1 here is 1944 S. Still sand, exceedingly rare wartime wrong planchet error. In 1943, during the World War II, the United States Mint switched from using copper for one cent coins to steel with a zinc coating. This was done to conserve copper for the war effort. These coins are known as steel cents or war pennies. In 1944, the Mint reverted to using the copper for cent production due to the end of wartime copper rationing. However, a few leftover steel cent planchets from 1943 were still in use at San Francisco Mint in 1944, resulting in a small number of 1944 S steel cents being minted. This specimen was graded as extremely fine 40 by NGC, medium steel grey patina greets the viewer from both sides. 
The central design elements bold is too sharply defined. Peripheral detail is quite soft, however, with some of the lettering merged into the rim. Both sides are glossy in texture with wispy hairlines from an old cleaning. A loop also revealing speckles of light verdigris around the peripheries and microscopic pitting. It ended up selling for $49,200. So that wraps up today's episode. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content. And don't forget to smash thumbs up. Take care.